Now in this next sequence, Ty actually offers the flying change pretty much on his own and this is what can happen a lot with the flying changes is that you work a lot with the horse's anticipation. So you do some simple changes, you do a counter canter, transition to true canter, to counter canter, until they almost start anticipating what's coming next and then they just yep. give you that flying change. Very so that's kind of what happened nice. here, Good is that he job. gave me the change just about as I was going to suggest a change. And what I really want in this flying change is for the hind feet to change first. So that will be a very correct flying change instead of the front feet changing leads first. And at the moment I'm not terribly picky but I'm going to quite quickly become a little bit more picky about him changing the back legs first. This time he changed the front legs first and I just, I'm just rewarding him for thinking in that direction. I'm not going to not reward him just because it wasn't perfect. I am very happy that he's just exploring the idea and then we can shape it and perfect it a little bit later on. But this one in particular was a, <laughs> a moment of hesitation as he thought about it and then he changed the front legs and then he changed the back legs, which was absolutely fantastic. Now, when I'm asking for the lead change in the future, I also want to try to make it so that I ask him when the leading leg touches the ground. That gives him the most time to change the back legs first instead of accidentally asking when he's in the flight of the canter, which is going to cause him to change the front legs first. So it's a lot with timing with this, but I am really trying to get those hind legs to change first. So now we're going to try with a simple change, just to make sure that we're not going to end up with a bit of an issue. Okay, ready? Good. With him just changing the front. I want to make sure that he does a proper canter transition each time he changes leads, because that will make the actual flying change a lot more smoother and a lot nicer and a lot more correct down the long end, in the long run. So the first time that he changes leads, if it's, you know, a stride with the front and before the backs I don't really it's okay because he was thinking in the right direction but I quite quickly want to try not to solidify that thought too much that it's just to do with the front legs I want him to realize that it is about the back legs